Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 5 Introduction to IoT dealing with sensor characteristics and deviation. Come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. So when dealing with sensor characteristic, the characteristic is divided into three. Resolution characteristic, accuracy and precision. So what is resolution? Generally all the sensor will be defined based on the ability to either measure or capture some phenomena. That is as I already, uh, already told when the sensor uh, has the ability to measure something uneven is happening in the external world. So for that there should be some characteristics that has to be defined for the sensor. So first taking resolution as the characteristics. What is resolution? Resolution is nothing but there is a small change in the measurable quantity. Say suppose I am measuring a temperature of 0 0.5 degrees Celsius change in the temperature and another sensor is measuring a change of 0 0.25 degrees Celsius. So which can you tell me which sensor sensor A or sensor B is giving you good resolution you will choose only sensor B is giving high resolution when compared to sensor A. Why? Even 0.25 variation in the sensor deduction is detected by sensor B. But 0.5 is larger than 0.25. So small variation when you consider then it is sensor B is giving you a good resolution. So based on this example how you can define, re define resolution very small change that occurs in a measurable quantity then it is known as resolution of a sensor. Next is accuracy. Accuracy is nothing but see when you keep on uh, teaching class for each semester and each semester is performing with different percentages of result. What will be the accuracy of the percentage of students that has passed? See, in simple words, you can tell that it is the ability of the sensor to measure the environment which is close to the true value. That is, I have given that this room temperature will be 30 degrees Celsius and the temperature sensor is measuring 30.5 degrees Celsius. So, it is very close. Accuracy is 100 plus very close to the determined value. Then that is known as accuracy of the sensor. See a weight sensor, it is detecting a weight of 100 kg mass as 99.98 kg. So we can say that this sensor is 99.99 accurate. What is the other 0.02 percentages? It is the error rate that is produced by the sensor. Right. Next is precision precision means repeatability quality repeatability see once if you keep on uh, repeating uh, re repeating a temperature sensor to keep on read the same body temperature it will it will give you some body temperature with the same error rate so then you can tell that it is deemed to be highly precise that is a weight sensor described in whatever sensor that I have given for uh, this accuracy as an example, the same example I have taken, one is giving 98.28, one is giving 100.35 kg and one sensor is giving 101.11 kg. So there are three different kgs measured by the same weight sensor. So based on these th three repetition measurements, you can say that the actual weight will be around 100 kg because all these are some point variation. So around 100 kg. So how precisely you can get a value that is called as precision. And next, what is sensor deviation? There are different sensor deviation that is available. First is drift, offset error or bias, sensitivity error, hysteresis error, quantization error, analog to digital conversion error, aliasing errors. So these are the errors or these are the uh, one which is termed as deviation of sensor. So, deviation is nothing but errors that is occurring in the sensor. So, we are telling that 
the iot applications are very critical application that is whenever a value is changed in a real time it has to be updated and keep on processing right so the same way when it is keep on processing in sometimes in non critical situation there will be some minor changes that is occurring in the sensor's output see in above example we saw it is 99.98 accuracy and 0.02 percentage is the error rate so that error will be caused by something so that error is nothing but the deviation of sensor so there are many deviation that we will be seeing drift first one is drift so what is drift if the output signal of the sensor changes independently that is it doesn't depend on time if it is depending upon time if if it should be depending upon time it will not depend on time it will keep on increasing whatever the time within 10 milliseconds you uh, you tell a sensor to uh, calculate uh, some uh, sensing thing and give you but based on that 10 milliseconds it is keep on sensing then that that is uh, told as that behavior is uh, told as drift so noise that example you can take it as noise noise cannot be measured with uh, it cannot be dependent on something it will be randomly varying based on the environment and next is offset error so offset error is nothing but there is some difference from the actual value whatever output that you get from the sensor if there is some difference from the actual value then it is known as offset error say suppose i am measuring an actual temperature is 0 degree celsius a temperature sensor gives you an output of 1 uh, 1.1 degree celsius every time when you measure same degree celsius it is giving so what happens that time the sensor is said to have an offset error and some sensors here it will be non linear it, it will produce non linear behavior some will be having linear behavior that is see one time if you measure 1.1 degree celsius sometime when you measure 1.2 degree celsius when it keeps on varying then it is non linear linear is constantly it is showing with some small changes okay this is known as offset error next is sensitivity error so sensitivity error before considering what is sensitivity error i will tell you for each and every sensor there will be minimum and maximum value that will be fixed if you take temperature sensor 0 degree is the minimum value and 35 degree is the maximum value it will be assigned it will be predetermined so within that limit only the sensor will be giving you output so in real condition the sensitivity of the sensor is not it is different from the value that is specified by the sensor so that will be sensitivity value it will show some other small in small variation it will be showing some other data which is not in your minimum and maximum value that is known as sensitivity error next is hysteresis error hysteresis error is nothing but there is a deviation due to some sensor's input values that is if a sensor's output deviates due to some deviation it is already having some error rate based on the error rate it, if it still more deviates then it is known as is there is error you can see analog sensor magnetic sensors while heating metal strips it's keep on deviating because uh, when the metal keep on heating it will uh, the heating temperature will be increasing at the same time there is obviously there is a variation while start, while the starting of heating the metal strips itself so that is known as hysteresis error next is quantization error so quantization error is nothing but sorry quantization error is nothing but it is focusing the digital output of a sensor that is approximation that you can give how much so if you are getting 99.5 you tell it as 100 so you are quantizing the output you are sampling the output then th that kind of error is said to be quantization error next is analog to digital conversion error so there is a difference between actual analog signal and a digital approximation signal the sampling rate will be different see when analog signals are produced you can tell that the square wave or a triangular wave it produces 2.5 volt but the same 2.5 volt cannot be debited in digital form there will be some small variation because of sampling rate 
so that is called as analog to digital conversion error finally aliasing error is nothing but dynamic errors that is caused due due to mishandling of sampling frequency see so frequency will be 50 hertz means if you keep increasing her uh, frequency in different form then there will be dynamic errors that is causing in sensor be because of our human mishandling thing so that is known as aliasing error hope you have understood different standard in uh, deviations of the sensors and also the characteristics of sensors stay tuned for more information thank you